he was just, uh, you know, unconscious and on the ground. And like I said, the, the nice uh, nurse neighbor was at hard work on him. Neighbors rushed to help after an accident near a power pole shocked two Duquesne light workers. Megan Schiller talked to a neighbor who ran to help. She is live right now in McCandless. Megan. A lot of the people who live on this street tell me they work from home and we talked to the man who lives in the house directly behind me. He said everyone heard this really loud power surge just before lunchtime and they walked outside to see what was going on. That neighbor tells me he spotted some commotion happening up the hill and he ran up towards it to try to help out. A sudden boom in this McCandless neighborhood sent Jim Vent outside. Ran outside and <clears throat> saw that there was something going on and then the lady a couple doors down from them, who was a nurse, she uh, was issuing CPR. We now know a live line shocked two Duquesne Light employees as they worked to replace a utility pole on Brandywine Drive. They had replaced the pole probably a few months ago, and they didn't switch the power lines over. So I think what they were finally doing is they cut the top of the pole and they were just moving the wires from one pole to another pole. Then watched as McCandless police showed up with a defibrillator and shocked one worker. He did not see the second employee. He then watched as Duquesne light crews filled his street and an ambulance sped away. They, they came pouring in to help, uh, you know, their buddy. You know what I mean? And it just show and they're very emotional and, uh, you know, just what you'd expect. And there are still a lot of homes without power in this section of McCandless where the crews are working right now. You can see that the telephone pole to the left right next to the orange. That is that new telephone pole that they were working on that utility pole. Excuse me that caused this incident. Duquesne Light saying right now at this hour that they cannot release any more information as to the conditions of those two workers. We do know they were rushed to two local hospitals. We of course will keep you posted later in the newscast if anything changes. Changes. Reporting live in McCandless, Megan Schiller, KDK News.